Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at the 50 brand new characters from MetaHuman Creator that is now available within the Quixel Bridge. Now for anyone who would like to get this, you want to play with it, you want to try it, there's a couple of things you need to know about it. And with that said, let's get right into it. So first off, you need to get Quixel Bridge and then you need to get Unreal Engine. So with the Quixel Bridge right here, you need to also be able to install all of the necessary add-ons that you need. And this includes the add-on or the plugin for Unreal Engine and for any other DCC app that you'd like to work with. Example, Maya, because once you're about to download any of this right here, you'd also be able to have the option of downloading the source file, which is natively Maya. Now, hovering around these 50 characters, you would notice that they have names, all right? So just simply hovering, you can see they all have names. You would also notice that there's a download button and a favorite button. Now with this right here, you would also notice that this is a growing library. So initially when we had this conversation before, it was only 50 characters, but right now you would notice that they are now 58 characters. So the library keeps growing and I think it's just going to keep making sense as it progresses. Now with all of these things here, if you want to take a look at your downloads, you want to see what you're downloading and you know, you want to pause that, you want to continue, you want to see if it's downloaded. If you go right over here and click, you'll notice that we have a couple of cancelled one, a downloaded one, a paused one and two in progress. Exporting this from here to Unreal Engine is super easy as you need to just simply click on the gear icon right here. Make sure that within your export setting, you have Unreal Engine as the export target. Select the version that you want, select the default or the project that you want this to be loaded in, go all the way back and then you need to click on export to export this from here to Unreal Engine. If you already have access to the MetaHuman Creator, you can click on Start MetaHuman Creator and this would launch the web and you can start working with it. So once you click right here and export your file, what happens is this is going to open up Unreal Engine. And once it opens up Unreal Engine, it will tell you that there are a couple of plugins that you need, for example, the Groom and uh, any other plugin that is required for you to work with this efficiently in Unreal Engine, it will tell you that those things are missing. And with that, you would also see a button that can help you enable these things right in Unreal Engine. After enabling all of these add-ons, you will need to restart Unreal Engine and get things back on track. So working with these things is super easy once you restart it, as you would notice that you have the folder known as MetaHuman. Of course, you would also notice I have a second folder which is known as the Modular House, and this is a free asset that you can get right now on the marketplace for the month of April. And of course, if you want to get this, I'm going to put a link in the description where you can get it. So with the MetaHuman right here, if you simply double click and go over to where we have the name tray because you know that's the character we have We're just going to double click on tray folder and you would see that we have a blueprint tray so by simply double clicking that blueprint tray what happens is we have this right here so you can click on compile to just simply compile this one and uh you are good to go so with this here we can also click drag and drop this directly in our viewport and you can start seeing some pretty cool things. Now I'm just going to go back a bit and talk about something. Once you double click on the BP tray, which is the blueprint stuff, it um, takes a little while. So it's not like a click and drag like I just showed you guys. It actually takes a while because it does all of the compilation, does all of the shader stuff. And uh, it does that for a couple of you know minutes before you get to this stage. So with this one now, let's simply go close to this character and see what we have. Let me get closer and see some of the cool things that we can do with this. And I'm just going to press F on the keyboard, frame that bad boy in, you know, and uh, get up close. All right. So some of the things that you would notice here is uh, we have some pretty cool detail for the face and for the hair. And this looks crazy. So you can see that here. This is very, very nice. Let's take a look and you can see very high fidelity stuff. These are very, very crazy things. And uh, of course you would notice we have some sort of camera clipping going there. So we can look at this and this is quite nice. This is quite nice. Let's also, you know, play with the light source and simply rotate this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and rotate the light source about something like that so that we can enjoy looking at this model. It doesn't look bad at all. And of course, if you like to, you know, see how light bounces off this character, you can see this for yourself. So we've already done a simple test with the previously released beta versions of the MetaHuman and uh, we did more like a facial performance thingy. So in case you want to see that, I'm going to put a link in the description where you can check that one out and see how you can get the most out of it. 
So with something like this, if we go back and let's simply see what and what we can do with this one right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and move this right over to this point, press the playback button and see what we can get. So if we press the playback button, you know, nothing really happens. All right. So nothing really happens. Let's fly through. That was a bit too fast. So I'm just going to go ahead and fly through a bit closer. Let's go upwards to a point like this. And let's see. All right. So let's see. What do we have? All right. So we just have this character like this. There's no animation. There's nothing to it. And uh, it's pretty nice. So for anyone who likes to play with this, you need to have a pretty cool PC. And of course, you will need to have a very good graphic card because this is quite GPU intensive. And something else, which is also here, is this is 8K. So, you know, you really need something that is a bit more beefy for you to handle some of these performances that's going on. It's uh, about 4 gig of data. So in case you're thinking about getting this, it is a bit heavy and if you like to see the level of detail of course you can so we can go over to where we have you know delete go all the way down over to where we have level of detail coloration and right here you see we have the mesh level of detail coloration click on that and as you move all the way down you can start noticing that level of detail as you actually travel all the way down so this is a uh, you know this simply shows you how it's going to look like if the character is far off, if the character is a bit closer, you know, you get get to see it and uh, the closer it gets, the high quality it gets and the farther away it is from the camera, the lower quality you tend to get. So this is to save memory and now if you also have like a lesser graphic card and you still want to run this, of course there are also ways that you can do this. So if you, so if you go over to where you have your Unreal Engine scalability, right here is set to cinematic, you can drop this a little bit lower, alright, so you can drop it down to get something, you know, way cooler that you can work with and if you're also looking for ways to actually reduce like the material you can drop the material down to maybe something that's low just so that you'll be able to have these things and uh, work with them so this is more like it pretty cool one for anyone who like to you know get these things you want to play with them you can simply go over to the link in the description that'll take you over to where you can download a quick sale file and you can also download epic unreal engine for free and start playing with this beautiful thing and for anyone who is also thinking about how do you download the source file how you can download the source file is also easy so if you select a character like this and let's say you want to download this if you click on the gear icon go over to where you have your download setting and within your download setting go over to where you have models and make sure that you have the unreal asset and also the source asset if you're also looking for the zbrush file you can also go all the way down and make sure that you have the source z tool turned on and also maybe get the high poly source and probably the brushes and this way you would have things that you can work with when working in zbrush links to the previous videos are going to be in the description so just in case you want to see the facial motion capture or maybe you want to see some free assets which you can use right now in Unreal Engine, links to that is going to be in the description. So do well to check these things out. This is more like it. And of course, I would like to know what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And I'd like to see you guys again with the tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.